spaces we got in here? Zero. We got some right here. One. One. Shut up, man. We got two for real. That's great. No, there we go. We got two who said that? I think. Like, 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 don't you see? That's a zero. Shut up. Why are you yeah, lying? You're in church. What's wrong with negative you? two. There are already three people in the seat. We already have one right here. You going to the altar first, yep. Dragging you up there. <laughs> I, I don't. This is it. I am the world's corniest person. No, you're not. So I know we just started the trip, but how are you enjoying it so far? <laughs> awesome. Sounds great. We made it. What are you doing? Get your butt over here. She said, dang it. Duh. Duh. You ain't that slick. I know. For the lovely staff that has prepared us for this event. We have been so generous and kind and amazing. So, hey, listen, here's how we're going to do this so that way we don't overwhelm. Of the exact same size and portion. Plate number three. Hey, we got a cabin. Hi. I saw dudes. Yeah. I got my own bed. That's what's up. I'm just taking a nap. I got my own funny space. Right? You got that big bed like me. But mine is twice the size. Getting to ride some go-karts. Yeah. <laughs> Go-karting was pretty cool. The moves though. Get it. Oh. Check out this thing my brother's on. Check out this thing. This is my brother by the way. See how sketchy it is? <laughs> yeah, I wanna get out here though.
we're ending the night with some Nerf Wars. I'm gonna set the phone up in the corner, but we're gonna have some fun. All right, we're gonna sprint downstairs, all right? I don't know how to put this up. We'll get that later, just drop it. All right, ready, go, run. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. It almost worked. <laughs> I didn't know that was working. Right. Hey, you know Josh does all the pictures. Day two. It's early. No, you just scared me. We're waiting for some food. My butt's hungry, so. Yeah. Ideas. 
And as, I, as we like agreed to go to lunch, listen, there's something about me that you probably can't tell by looking at me. I love food. I mean, I love food. It doesn't matter what you want to go, Mexican, uh, I'll eat tacos all day, I'll eat burritos, I'll go to a steakhouse with you, I'll eat ribs, barbecue, take me to the most southern place, like sushi, I'll eat it all day, pizza, all of it. I love food. It is a love language. This is deep rooted in me. Like, if don't buy me anything, let, let's go out to eat and you are my people. Like, if you like food, you're my people. Let's get some tacos. It's because I want to give you time to process this. I want to give you time to ask your leaders what this really means. I want to give you time as, as, as we exit this moment and we're about to go into worship. And I want to give you time to prepare your hearts. Because I believe tonight that this is going to happen for your life. If you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you're going to be filled. It's crew war time. We're playing Civil War. What he said. Back at the cabin. How much did you eat that day? Getting ready to go get some food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It just looks like a lot of people trying to imitate the Titanic. that have poured their guts out to make this happen. And um, man, I, I believe they did that, not, not so that we can spray water bottles when the beat drops, as much as I am a huge fan of that for the record. Woo! But I, I, I believe they did that because they truly believe in the next generation, and they believe that God is gonna do something so significant in your life tonight and move in such a spiritual way that you will leave forever changed, amen. Do you believe that tonight? Woo! About 50%, we'll get them there, that's good. Hey, um, so real quick, um, I just wanna, before we get going here, I um, just wanna take a moment and kinda, uh, you know, I, I truly believe tonight's got, uh, God's got big plans in store, I really do. And, um, but I, I really believe in giving honor where honor's due, it's a biblical principle. And uh, so I just wanna say, I know, I, I don't know if you know this, but we actually have our senior pastors in the house today. We have, we have witnesses telling people about me everywhere. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, 
and through all the ends of the earth. I just, I, in the middle of that, I realized I said Judea wrong, and I was upset at myself. Just being real. Anyway, it says, you will receive power to be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, everywhere to the ends of the earth. Here's what I came to tell you tonight. You've got to understand something about Christianity. It was never meant to be walked out under your own effort. And we're living in a generation where we, where we receive God, and then we think we have to do everything else on our own. You understand, Christianity was never meant for you to live out under your own power, right? You're getting, you're getting this, right? So, so this, I, I want to push on this a little bit. Christianity was so not meant to be lived out under your own power that in Luke chapter 24, Jesus has died on a cross, risen again from the dead. He meets with his disciples and says, hey, guess what? You're going to go out. You're going to baptize people. You're going to make disciples. You're going to heal the sick. You're going to do all this. But he says, but stay here. All right. Church is over. Church was awesome. But now it's time to play some manhunt. Wick glow sticks. Oh snap. That was kinda cool. Let's go. I was way too into the game to actually record anything, so this is just us walking back. But the night is young. Let's go. All the kids gone, loaded up. <laughs> oh shoot, high school's here. One for the plug, one for the Bible. Hey. <laughs> okay, high school just got here. We unloaded buses. It's a squad that just helped unload. So, we got the energy for the week. And then, we're gonna get some food. Lunchtime, and I get to find out who's in my cabin. Let's go. So, first of all, I do wanna say this. Welcome to Ryan Camp 2018. Woo! You cold? <laughs> Once you get in, you get used to it, but it's free. Uh, I mean, it's not a fault, but we're in the middle school. Oh, really? Hey. I wasn't recording yet. I'll definitely give you a call when I get back, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Clear wrap across the back. They like go. Jacked up Asian, jacked up Asian voice. 
set some gluten free tonight, amen? Have you seen Chupacabra? I actually have. Oh, We're good. <laughs> what? We're good. You've seen the Chupacabra? No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, you can drive this in the truck. Oh, yeah, you could. That's different. Oh, shoot. You can just ride away with this thing. <laughs> Let's hope they don't. <laughs> just random late night adventures. The cheaper copper knows how to drive. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Well, they might be bad. What is this? This is crazy. I've never like been in a, a Florida cave. I mean, it's actually not in a Florida cave. Because so, this um, it's got a roof on it. Yeah. It's more like a ditch. It's a ditch with a <laughs> with a cover. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I've, I wonder if you keep going back and it actually it turns into a cave. I don't know. It, We're having service tomorrow night. <laughs> this is definitely joke. a train. What oh, the I'm heck? I'm so confused. Dude, that's Miners so camp. Cool, dude. <laughs> What? Yeah, like come look inside this thing. You can't go in it. Yeah, it's oh, locked. Let's go. Oh, dang. Hey, crazy. Yeah. Now you want me to take some steps. Huh? Now you want to take some steps. <laughs> Day two, heading to breakfast. Hey, will you give it up for the worship team? That last song, that was just, that was just trying not to read, man. It's, isn't God good? Is it, don't we serve a good God in this place? It's phenomenal, man. Well, hey, we're gonna keep on going uh, with our morning. Uh, I believe that what we just experienced in worship, God has just, just set the stage for what we're about to receive through the preaching of the Bible. And um, this woman was caught red-handed in the act of adultery. Moses, in his law, gives orders to stone such persons. What do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something incriminating so they could bring charges against him. Jesus bent down and wrote his finger in the dirt. They kept at him, badgering him. He straightened up and said, The sinless one among you, go first. Throw the stone. I got dare you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go ahead. Go ahead, swing. Bending down again, he wrote some more in the dirt. Hearing that, they began to walk away, one after another, beginning with the oldest. The woman was left alone. Jesus stood up and spoke to her. Woman, where are they? Does no one condemn you? She responds, no one, Master. Jesus says, neither do I. Go on your way now on. All right, we out here ready to start some civil war with the high school. Heading back from it. Hello. <laughs> All right, out of the crazy music madness in the cafeteria, we at the water and hole. Water and hole. Fake out. It's not our turn for the for the spring. It's our time for the water park, and we have to hurry up and beat the storm there. We are on the way. Dang it! We finally get to the pool, and there's lightning.
All right, so pool is done. Now we are heading to uh, go canoeing. My dude, canoeing. Huh? All right, we're attempting to kayak for the second time in a row. So here we go. Hey, me and Jordan got that kayak adventure going or canoe, you know what I meant. At the middle. Tomorrow morning! Uh, somebody died up here. It's okay. It's fine. It happens every day. Alright, so tomorrow morning. We're gonna...